In this video, we'll be going over part two of unique paths where we will implement a memorization approach to the solution. So let's first go over the thought process. So the recursive approach was not efficient enough. It's not efficient enough because of overlapping recursive calls. We can avoid overlapping recursive calls using memorization. Now we'd ask ourselves, what do we need to cache to avoid overlapping recursive calls? Then in the recursive approach, in each of the recursive calls, we are trying to find the total number of unique ways at the current M and N. The total number of unique ways at the current M and N. This means we can cache M and N with the total number of unique ways. Now let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create a 2D matrix, Nemo to cache previously calculated results. We need 2D array, um, 2D matrix because we need M and N as our parameters. So the rows will be M and the columns will be N and the value will be the total number of unique ways. Now we're going to implement a top-down memorization approach. And the parameters we need is we need a passing on MIMO to cache pre previously calculated results. So it's going to be a cache. Then what's the base case? We got to add in if MIMO M and N is not equal to zero. This means we have already calculated the results for M and N. Then we can just return MIMO M and N. Now we need it after this, we need to cache them. So after we find our paths are moving leftward and the number of paths are moving upward, we're going to cache them. So we're going to put the sum of the paths at the inside the cache and then return the result. We don't need this anymore. Now let's go for the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to all of M times N, where M and N are the two input values. This because there are a total of m times n possible states. Now the space complexity is to go to of m times n plus of m plus n. So it's still going to be o of m times n. Now this one is for MIMO, the MIMO matrix, and the other one is our recursive call stack memory. Now let's go over the code. So this is a solution for the recursive approach, and now we gotta modify it to implement a memorization approach. So first we create our helper method. This will be a helper method to pass it on MIMO. Set this to private. Then we're going to return unique paths m and n plus instantiate on MIMO. So it's going to n plus 1 and n plus 1 because we want it to be 0 to m and 0 to n. Then we check if we have already calculated the results for the current m and n. If we have already calculated, we can just return the results. Then we can just cache our result here. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below.